at the time I was involved in the hip hop scene, the graffiti scene, it was very small. Um, everybody talking about they're going to release an album, a few cassettes were coming out, it was before CDs and I just thought I'm just going to do this, I'd always had this dream, I wanted to bring out an album and I wanted to be immortal if that album came out, you know, for the rest of your life you'd be remembered and your thoughts and the times that were captured. Back then, we we're just trying to find a voice, so and I supported Aussie hip hop. Tapes were getting circulated. You know, MCs were coming in every week, different DJs all the time. It was a fantastic time. Maybe you heard something. You didn't have the internet back then. You didn't have blogs and all this sort of crap. You just had radio and DJs breaking records, and you know they'd put them on, and you'd go, "Shit, where can I get that?" And there was only maybe one or two places, and you're even lucky if you could get a copy on vinyl back then. Everyone doing the radio thing as well, like stepping to the AM. Uh, people don't really realise how important shit like that was. Like we were in South Australia getting dubs of dubs of, of stepping to the AM on tape and we were listening to that. Like people from Melbourne freestyling. Like that shit was crazy to us. I have heaps of stories about particular crews and beef that would go on and stuff. It was just crazy. We all did it because we lived it and loved it. We didn't do it for the reasons that a lot of people do now. It wasn't to be a superstar, it wasn't to make money. It was because it was part of you and it's, and it, and it's what you were, what you are, what I am. That's why we did it. We were doing our thing, but fuck, we had a desert to cross, you know? Now, there's that Aussie hip hop scene, but then there was nothing, you know what I mean? Like nothing, no am saying nothing. Like, I mean, the little bits and pieces, and it was just little pockets of us going to nightclubs and shit having fun, rapping that. But even your mates look at you funny when you start when you talk about it. Like, what are you talking about? You're a rap, you know what I mean? But we did it, and you know, it, we were fresh back then, fresh kids, and uh, yeah, fuck. But no, no, it was, it was either you're Aussie accent or you're not Aussie accent. It was all that bullshit going on because the scene was so young. 98 became the platform where we went from what all these other guys had laid and started to get a bit more semi-serious, a bit more, you know, right on the money. There wasn't many artists who were putting out their tracks on vinyl. We used to rock up, you know, there'd maybe be 60 to 100 people at all the old uh, hip-hop gigs back then. And that's how it was around 98. The Australian scene had been building up to this pivotal moment and that's when everything changed. The city, Hawthorne to Hursty, Melbourne hip hop fellas are flowing for the thirsty. North Fitz to G Town, Berry and Wake Clowns, a lyrical commission. The winners in each round, all around the city, Alamein to Richmond, crisp up in your system. This is the commission.